Do you ever wonder how your breath smells like before speaking to someone? Have you ever tried licking behind your wrist, wait 10 seconds, and then sniffing it? Having bad breath is kind of like getting toilet paper stuck to the bottom of your foot. Usually harmless, but so awkward that nobody will tell you about it. Bad breath is made up of a complex set of odor compounds. Check this out. This is the Smart Breath Odor Detector, also known as a halometer. The halometer can quickly and accurately measure the volatile sulfur compounds in your breath. Volatile sulfur can be any of these following chemicals. Hydrogen sulfide, rotten egg smell, methyl marcaptan, feces, dimethyl sulfide, cabbage, gasoline smell, dimethyl disulfide, garlic smell. This smart breath odor detector comes with a tip card. Level one, slight odor, no worries. Level two, pay attention to oral hygiene so you have a moderate odor. Level three, beware, oral disease. Recommended to go to a dental clinic to seek medical advice. And level four, beware, physical health. Bad odor may be caused by pathological diseases. Recommended to go to a hospital to seek medical advice. So let's just give this a try. Turn it on and preheat for nine seconds. Once it vibrates, blow a few times into the meter and within seconds, you will get a reading and let's see. Okay, so I have a level one, slight odor. No obvious odor and maybe it might be time to go freshen up a bit. It is suggested to social distance between 20 to 65 centimeters so other people won't smell my breath. Most people between 80 to 90% have sulfur-based compounds as the primary source of breath odor. But it is important to go beyond only testing for sulfur compounds because many individuals have a mixture of sulfur and non-sulfur odors lurking in their mouth. Remember, these odor compounds are bacteria that lives in your mouth and thrive in places like under the gums, places where food can be trapped or lodged, spaces between your teeth, the coating on your tongue, under poorly fitting fillings or crowns. This process releases, releases a bunch of stinky compounds and give rise to the dreaded bad breath, also known as halitosis. Bacteria loves the dark, moist air deprived areas in your mouth because they can easily live on the proteins and sugars found in your saliva, dead mouth cells, blood cells, food particles, and mucus. Those with allergies or sinus problems usually have protein-rich post-nasal drip that collects on the very back of the tongue. In time, the bacteria feeding on this mucus will produce waste products in the form of volatile sulfur compounds, which creates a thick, whitish biofilm coating on the tongue. In other words, more odor. The good news, it is usually temporary. The bad news is often caused by a less than stellar brushing and flossing routine, as well as a bunch of habits. Follow these tips to fight bad breath and keep your mouth healthy. Brush your teeth twice a day, and then brush them for at least two minutes to three minutes a day to remove plaque and food debris. Better yet, use an electronic toothbrush. Number two, floss daily. Number three, brush or scrape your tongue. Number four, use a mouth rinse that does not burn. Number five, visit your dentist and dental hygienist. Number six, quit smoking and avoid tobacco products. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.